on today's episode, Humanity's Fallen Nature. Howdy y'all, I'm Pastor Mark, I'm the pastor of Copeland Christian Church, and this is Theological Moments with Pastor Mark. Well hello, I'm glad to be back with you all. Today we're going to talk about uh, human nature, what we call the fall and the consequences thereof. We're going to focus especially on the fact that humanity needs a savior. And so as usual, there is way more that could be said than I have time to say. So we're just going to use some broader strokes. Um, We want to talk about just general orthodox uh, views. Most of what we're talking about can be drawn from Genesis 1 through 3. Um, I'm going to reference a couple other specific scriptures, but in general, that's where I'm pulling from. So, God created the heavens and the earth and everything in them. And he created humans in his image. And it was good. Indeed, his creation was perfect. And he took his humans and he put them in the Garden of Eden, where they were to be his regents. A regent is just somebody who rules on behalf of another ruler. Uh, So they have that ruler's authority, but they're also still answerable to that ruler. And so Adam and Eve were placed into God's perfect creation, and they were to rule and reign over it, and subdue it, and extend the garden throughout all of the earth. And they could eat anything from the garden that they wanted, except the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Pretty simple, right? Well, one day, the serpent was serpenting along, and he came across Eve, and he says to Eve, isn't that fruit look good? And Eve said, sure, and there's a lot more to the story, but we know that Eve ate the fruit. And then she gave some to Adam, who was with her. And this act of disobedience, eating the fruit that God commanded them not to, is what we refer to as the fall. This brought sin and death into the world, which has since marred God's perfect creation. And so this fall was an all-encompassing act. Genesis 3.17 makes clear that even the ground was cursed because of Adam. Paul in Romans 8.20 reiterates the same concept, where he talks about all of creation groans as if in birth pains since the fall. The point here is that this one act of disobedience has affected literally everything since it occurred. And it is the catalyst for every evil, every bad thing in the world. Whether we're talking about earthquakes and floods and famines, hurricanes, natural disasters, or weeds and thistles and thorns, even to human nature, uh, lies and selfishness and murder, wars, all of that. Literally every evil, bad thing stems from the fall. So the consequence of the fall was death. Well, let me give you a little bit different definition. I got this from a footnote in the NET Bible. Uh, It says that death is essentially separation. To die physically means to be separated from the land of the living, but not to extinction, right? We know that humans have immortal spirits. To die spiritually means to be separated from God. Both occur with sin. Both are a result of the fall. Although the physical separation, uh, the process of dying, that is, is an instant. It takes however many years. The spiritual death was immediate, although the effects of that separation continue. Now, maybe that's too technical. We'll smooth it out as we go. You may have heard the argument that Adam and Eve, they didn't drop dead right that instant. So when it says death was the consequence, it can't mean physical death. That's not correct. That's not reading the whole of Genesis 3 correctly. For the above reason, God didn't tell Adam he was going to die immediately, but rather he was going to die imminently. Which means that every human being will necessarily die physical death and return to the dust from which we've come. Okay, well that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to do so. Uh, If you like the video, go ahead and click that like button. If you want to subscribe, please do so. Hit the notifications. Push all the buttons, like I say every time. Um, If you have a comment for me, go ahead and leave it. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.